and a little fishing boat mm -hmm. uh, in a quiet uh, bay area um, anchor by a pile of brush that the beavers pulled in mm -hmm. and my cork that I cast out is sitting there and I'm watching to see if it gets movement by something biting on it and in the distance not very far away maybe 20-30 feet is uh, the woods come right up to the shoreline and uh, quite a bit of brush right there but the trees are huh they're being kind of washed out by the sun. The sun's real bright, mm -hmm. but uh, they're kind of fluttering a little bit in the breeze. So I'd like for you to look at that space as you look at those trees. I want you to look for any movement. I'd like for you to look at anything there. There's a deer. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mama, dear. I'd like for you to connect telepathically with that deer, mind to mind, soul to soul. What does she tell you today? She's asking me to protect her baby. Mm -hmm. That um, right in that space there's not hunters and it's not deer hunting season but that um, she says your dad hunts and hunts deer and uh, she's thanking him um, for always just choosing choosing wisely mm -hmm. and he uses all the parts of the deer um, all of it and she said um, she would appreciate him appreciating their existence more but she understands he's not at that place but she wants she wants me to to make sure that her her baby is okay her baby still has spots and I'm not quite sure how she wants me to do that but just oh send energy mm -hmm. to protect her so I'd like for you now to go ahead and send that energy, use your mind, see yourself in that place, sending energy. And as you send that energy, I'd like for you to be able to see that energy, see how it flows, and tell me how you can describe the visualization of this energy. Well, if I imagined um, there used to be a cartoon where a cloud would be blowing the north wind, mm -hmm. um, and that's it's, it's it's I am basically is not blowing, but is is flowing out like that. Mm -hmm. And at the end, is, it just creates this uh, bubble shield. Mm -hmm. It's a fluffy, it's a fluffy um, white shield. It has little sparkly edges on it so that nothing can get in. Very good. Very good. Is there anything else important about this scene? Look around. What oh, the beavers? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tell me more. Yeah. Oh, the lake is becoming more inhabited, and they <laughs> they just want me to know that it doesn't matter how many people they're going to keep rebuilding that dam, and um, and. To just realize that they have a life and and uh, they're just gonna keep on swimming. Very good. How does that make you feel? I'm proud of them. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
Very good. Anything else around that's interesting? Oh, the lily pads. Some of them are blooming. There's white ones. There's pink ones. Mm -hmm. I see a yellow one and I'm looking for the frogs. But uh, no frogs today. So uh, probably some hiding underneath. Mm -hmm. But they're they're again just floating on the floating on the water, taking life easy. Very good. Very good. So let's close this scene now. Let's continue on our journey. Close the scene behind, and I'd like for you now to find another memory. I'm going to count from five back to one <coughs> as we go back in time to find another memory that affected your life. When I get to number one, I'll tap your forehead and you'll be there. Taking a deep breath in. Five. Going back through time and space. Four. To another memory that impacted you. Three, getting younger. Two, almost there now. And one, be there now. In this memory, is it daytime or nighttime? It's daytime. Mm -hmm. Are you indoors or outdoors? Indoors. Mm -hmm. How old are you? I am nine. Mm -hmm. What's happening? Um, I just got kicked out of school. Mm -hmm. It was the last day I was going to be in school because we were moving. We were living in Utah, moving to Minnesota, and we had just gotten out of a school gathering, going over the dangers of pulling a chair out from under someone. Mm -hmm. They had just finished, and we were sitting down, and I pulled the chair out from under a girl, and she fell on the floor, and... Um, I don't know. I, I just, I felt terrible. And I started crying. Um, in fact, I don't even know if I, 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 I think I just ran out of the school and ran home, which was fairly close. Mm -hmm. All right, so I want you to go deeper into that moment. <coughs> Excuse me, I want you to go back into the moment right before you pulled that chair out going to count from three back to one. When I get to number <coughs> one, you'll be at that moment right before. Three, two, and one. Be there now. Tell me what's happening. I feel, feel a giggle coming up mm -hmm. from inside. Mm -hmm. Um thinking this is going to be funny oh that they they said there's is dangerous but no I want to show them that this is funny mm -hmm. huh. so let's find out huh. who is the one talking who is the one that finds it funny I'm gonna count from one to three and when I get to number three we'll talk to that part that thinks it's funny one two and three you there the one that thinks it's funny who are you Fred. Fred. How old are you, Fred? Three. Uh huh. Fred, what year is it for you? Eighteen fifty-six. Uh huh. Fred, how is how long have you been <coughs> here with Sandy? How long have you been with this little girl? Oh. I just popped in. Mm -hmm. Just popped in now. Just popped in now. Why mm -hmm. did you pop in? 
because living <laughs> people are so serious in this Mormon community. It's just they need to lighten up and 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 um, there's a brighter side of life, and I just decided to to show Sandy that there's fun can be had. Mm -hmm. Fred, did you go to the light after you died? I don't remember seeing a light. Mm -hmm. What what happened to your body, Fred? Fell out of a wagon. Mm -hmm. And then what happened to your spirit? Where did you go? I just, I, I, it's, it's just stayed floating in and out of uh, this density. Mm -hmm. just, yeah. Just, and why is it that Sandy was so easy to get into? Why was this little girl so easy? She sees spirits. Mm -hmm. She doesn't know she does, but but she she sees us and 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 she talks to us. And mm -hmm. she, does she invite you in? Yes, she does. Because mm -hmm. we're nice, and mm -hmm. not always things are nice. So, but you see, Fred, before you do things like this, you need to understand that you should have moved on. You should have gone back to the source that created you. Would you like me to help you today? Yes, I don't. I was going to ask why this has been so fun, but yeah, it's mm -hmm. it's, it's it's time to rest. All I'm right. tired. I'm All right. So if you <laughs> take a look inside of you, Fred, and you'll see a little light there. Tell me when you find it. Yeah, it's there. Now, I want you to make that light as big as you. Okay. Make it even bigger and tell me how that light feels. I don't feel much. I see it. Mm -hmm. I see it's real bright. Mm -hmm. but how does it feel to you? Ah, uh, it's feeling warm now. Mm -hmm. I've, been, yeah. I've been cold for a long time. Make it warmer. Okay. Hmm. Tell me how that feels. Ooh, it's radiating. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, Fred. Oh, I feel tired. Can you now forgive yourself for not having left before? Yeah, because I didn't, you didn't know, know any better. All right. Yeah. Are you ready to say goodbye to Sandy now? I sure am. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, so I'd like to now call in the angels of the white light to surround you. Mm -hmm. And Archangel Michael is right there waiting to take you home. Thank you. And I'd like for you to tell me, as you follow this light within, who you see waiting for you. I see Grandpa Grandpa. Mm-hmm. Give him a big hug. It's time to go home. May the light of the universe always accompany you, Fred. Thank you. Thank you. So let's take a deep breath in. <coughs> now, I'd like for you to go back to that moment right before this happened. Go back in time and space. Right before this happened. And now, without Fred there, I'd like for you to see how this all ended up. Yeah. We just pulled our chairs out at our desk and sat down. Very good. Very good. Yeah. So now let's go back to another time and another place, to another memory that affected you. When I count from five back to one. When I get to number one, you will be there. Five. Going back in time now. Four, to another memory. Three, a moment that impacted you. Two,
two, almost there, and one. Be there now. Where are you? I'm in a courtroom. Mm -hmm. I'm the judge. Mm -hmm. I've got a, a white wig that judges wear, mm -hmm. black robe. Um, sitting up above everybody, behind a desk, wooden desk. Mm -hmm. What is your name? Peter. Mm -hmm. Peter, how old are you? 54. Mm -hmm. And what is happening in your courtroom today? There are people in there to be sentenced for various crimes. Mm -hmm. And there's no jury. It's just um, somebody saw them do something and reported it, and um, I don't know how the people got there, but the people that were in the courtroom. Mm -hmm. So tell me, who's beside beside you? Is there anybody there? Do you work with anyone? No. No. So let's. Con Continue with this scene and tell me what happens in this day. Um, people just come in and out. I'm pretty, I don't have many emotions, any emotions tied to it. Mm -hmm. um, and um, I can either put people in the stockade for a number of days or um, nobody just gets to go home unpunished. Every, I pronounce punishment on everybody mm -hmm. and it's expected that I do this um, and I don't think twice, yep, that's my job, is what I do. And um, but one mother comes in and she had stolen some bread and maybe a few vegetables. Um, take home to her family to eat. She was not married. Um, don't know what, or her husband died. Mm -hmm. um, and my order was to chop off both of her hands. Mm -hmm. And she was taken outside and they chopped her hands off. And I um, just continued my day, mm -hmm. my life as the judge. So I'd like for you now to close that scene, close that scene and now move forward to another important day in that same lifetime. Be there now. Where are you? I'm dying. I'm alone. Uh -huh. um, nobody's around. Nobody, nobody's there. Um, I get the feeling that, uh, gee, I didn't care for anybody, and nobody cares for me, and. I am, for the first time, feeling a little lonely that, mm -hmm. that, yeah. How old, but, are, you? How old are you there? Oh. Not very old, 56. Mm -hmm. Is something wrong with your body, Peter? Either cancer or tuberculosis. Mm -hmm. I think it's tuberculosis. What part of your body is ill? My lungs. I'm coughing up blood. I can't. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. I'm really thin and just uh, not much of me there. Mm-hmm. Peter, do you know what year it is? 1856. Okay. No, 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 no. 1486. 1486. And where are you? What country do you reside? Hmm. Um. This is I, Wales. Wales. <coughs> so, Peter, I'd like for you now to continue to the last moment of your life in that lifetime. Take your last breath. And I'd like for you to detach yourself from that body and look back at that life. Every life has a purpose and a lesson. What was the purpose of this lifetime? This Peter. To lord over people. Um, to see how much control I can have and um, basically almost uh, I was in human form but it was like the emotions were just uh, mm -hmm. didn't come into the human body with any emotions mm -hmm. just, yeah so it was just a life of um, of solitude not necessarily to learn how to live a solitude just to exist, mm -hmm. and I, oh, I gained my existence by knowing I could influence others. Very good. Mm. So now, Peter, I'd like for you to follow <coughs> your route. Follow your route back to those that guide you, to those that love you. <coughs> and tell me what you see. Hmm. I see frowns. Mm -hmm. um, they said, okay, you chose that life and you went into it empty and you came out empty. So next time we will help you choose a life that, that uh, is more meaningful, where there's a, a, a good purpose that you can feel. You can see us turn, as Elvis said earlier, turn our smile, our, uh, our lips around to a smile. A frown upside yeah, down. Yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. So let's find out what you do to prepare for this next life. How do these frowns get turned upside down in order for you to prepare? Hmm. Well, I'm shown what happened to this woman who lost her hands. Mm -hmm. What happened to her? Well, she could no longer provide for her two children and the children starved to death and then eventually she was killed um, because she kept trying to steal mm -hmm. food. So my next life is, is to help, is to is to do something that uh, I can't help what happens to other people sometimes, but I can help their bodies. I can help heal them. <clears throat> so let's see how you prepare for that. I'd like for you now to see those that will be helping you in this lifetime around and see if anyone steps forward to assist you. Mm. Who are the souls that will help you? The 
how one veteran still here on earth he's been with me in many lives another one and we also he's incarnate and he's one of my he's one of the guys that comes in and, and says time to laugh mm -hmm. um, there's a greenish blue energy being uh, that helps me understand outside the education where I learned to, to understand he's the one who gives me information on, on helping heal people mm -hmm. and It feels like a feminine entity, but it, it says his name is Fred again. Mm -hmm. We're not the same Fred. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what is what is this entity there to assist with? To help me um, to download information on. I guess I've had many lives where I've um, been a healer. Mm -hmm. And he's always been with me, so he helps. He helps me remember things I used to do. Um, just because we kind of it was before doctors and or before you know we had to forage for things and roots and and which things to get and and he just always guided my hand. Oh, he guided my hands and and help me think through how to mix potions together mm -hmm. and um, and so he's, he feeds me just what I consider this intuitive sense of of what to say or where to go or what medications to advise so he, he's yeah he's my healing my healer guide <laughs> mm -hmm. My guide who helps me heal. That's what he says. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Anything else there? Take a look around. Anybody else that you recognize? Yes, there's a gal still on this earth. Her name is Jo. Mm -hmm. And Jo um, is a channeler, mm -hmm. and she's in her group um, channeled information that's been very helpful. But mm -hmm. I feel that her ego has his. She and I became very close, and, and I couldn't hold nursing jobs, and and she was trying to help me figure out why, what I could do, and and she became very critical, mm -hmm. and saying things like, "Well, just stop doing that, then, or mm -hmm. you know, you're opening yourself up for that," and and so. Um, so yeah, she's. She still is present in spirit. So what is she? What is um? All right. So let's take a look around and see what challenges <coughs> are going to be seen in the lifetime. <clears throat> what is this new soul going to be addressing in this lifetime? Hmm. Addressing um. What challenges? are going to be needed for this soul. Now that we know who are the people, oh. let's take a look at the challenges, the situations. Being judged and judging. Mm -hmm. um, Uh, 
pain. Um, mm -hmm. Feeling pain, really. Feeling what? Feeling what? It the feeling in myself mm -hmm. pain, so that I now have a much fuller understanding of what it felt like when I caused pain with others mm -hmm. in others. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So much. How much of this pain? Does the soul need to endure in order to clean out this karma? Um, when will it be enough when this karma is wiped away? Well, is it a choice? I don't, I don't, I don't feel it's a choice. Is this? No. Let's find out. Let's dive even deeper and let's connect with those who <laughs> help her in this lifetime. Now that we understand that this soul came into this lifetime to feel the experience, let's see why she carries this load with her, this very heavy load. Like for you to start to visualize now, because I can, I see the people in pain, and I see them writing, and I see them decimated by what I've done mm -hmm. over lifetimes. Mm -hmm. And is it time now for the soul to forgive herself for this pain that she has caused? Can she forgive herself from not knowing any better yeah, in those lifetimes? Yes, mm -hmm. yes. So I'm going to put my hand over your chest, and I want you to go ahead and begin releasing all of that pain, all of that suffering, all of that poison you've been drinking all of this time for all of the suffering you've done to others. Because in order to help other people heal, you cannot drink the poison yourself. You cannot take their pain. You can only be a healer by seeing them healed. So now that you understand that all of those people that you cause pain and suffering are here now to allow you to feel the same thing. Now it's even. You know and you don't have to carry it any longer. Let's release this pain because a healer cannot be in pain and not carry this for others. Pull it all out. Every cell. Go deep into the DNA <coughs> and pull it out, forgiving yourself for not knowing any better, for choosing a life to feel it, and you have now felt it. Tell me when I have it all. Very good. Let's take that and send it to the universe for healing. Now, <coughs> look at your body. I want you to scan this body from head to toe. This body now, with all of this forgiveness, should be bright. Should be bright as a light. I'd like for you to scan and see if there's any areas of this body that are not shining, that perhaps have some movement, some, something that shouldn't be there. My ankles to the top of my feet. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Very good. Huh. So I'm going to go ahead and go over to your ankles and let's bring that energy up. I'm going to grab your feet and let's... Bring that energy up. Bring it up. Bring it up. All the way. Allow that energy to flow up. Higher and higher. You can speak now. Are you male or female energy? Male. Male. What is your name, please? Groofus. Groofus. With a G. With a G. Groofus, how old are you? Oh, I'm old. I'm, I'm, 
I'm 80, 85. 85, 86. Uh, what year is it for you, Rufus? Hmm. 1840. 1840. 1842. 1842. What happened to your body, Rufus? Hmm. Hmm. I fell off a wagon and then fell into a ditch. Oh, and hit a big rock and the rock rolled over and, and pinned me down um, and I, I eventually got out but I never was able to walk right again mm -hmm. yeah so Grufus why is it that you did not go back to source back to the light mm. are you lost I didn't oh I, I, I don't, I, I don't know. I, mm -hmm. I, so how did you find Sandy? How old was she? Oh, making her head spin. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. What was your question? What made you attached to Sandy? How old was she? Oh. Um, oh, what was happening at that time? Um, she was twenty, twenty-two, mm -hmm. and she had a chance to leave this earth. Mm -hmm. And she didn't recognize it, but she was she was having a tough time, depressive state, and, and uh, uh, she didn't really invite me in. But um, I came in to keep her company. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you said she had to leave this earth. Was she leaving at that time? She was considering it. Okay. Yeah, she was definitely. It was. Was, yeah, she was considering it enough. Now, Griffiths, did you know this soul? Did you recognize her from a different life? Or was she just somebody no, random? Just somebody, somebody that I could feel alive in again. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so what have you been doing to her all this time, since that age? How have you been mm -hmm. affecting her? Uh, I've been causing her body joints and even even pain in the bones, the long bones of, of her legs. Mm -hmm. um, just arthritis, I'm, I've been contributing to, to allowing the arthritis to, to um, well that's what I am, you know, it's, yes. it's basically I'm, yeah. So, Grufus, is there anything else that you're doing to her besides the joints and the arthritis, making her feel like an 80-year-old? Take a look at your body. What else? Are you causing any issues with her shoulders or knees or vision? Um, not vision, but generally everything else. Mm -hmm. Just. Yeah, she feels like an old woman, and because and, that's me. What that's side of your body was affected when you when you were injured? Actually, it was the left. Mm -hmm. So take a look at your shoulder, Rufus, and tell me what's going on with the shoulder. I hit it when I fell out of the wagon. I hit it, and it really hurt it a lot. But the, the main thing I hit was um, our hip, the hip too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, the shoulder, and then I hit the hip. Okay. Yeah. Now, Grufus, when you left that body, you should have gone straight back home. Inside of you, there is a spark of light that should have been the indicator of where to go. I'd like for you to find now 
that light within you. Hmm. Tell me when you find it. Ah, hmm. oh, there it is. Now make it bigger, Griffiths. Wow, well, that's a hard one, Gus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> make it even bigger. Okay. <clears throat> Expand it out. Make that light bigger than you are. Mm. How does that feel? It feels good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's pretty. This, this is the light of creator. This is where you should have gone back to. This is where oh. those that you love are waiting for you. Mm. Are you ready now to finally follow that light? Yes. All right. Yeah. But before you go, you've done quite a damage to Sandy. You've made her feel like an old woman all this time, giving her aches and pains. What would you like to tell Sandy about that? Well, I really enjoyed the time with you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, would you like her to but, forgive you for for causing all this pain? Yeah, and, and I do. I do apologize. I, and I ask for your forgiveness, too. All right, take a deep breath in. Sandy, do you forgive Rufus? Or not yes. knowing any better. Are you oh, ready yes. to release him now? Yes. All right. That's so I'd like so for you to go ahead and go into your body and find all those cords that are attaching Rufus to your body. And Rufus, I'd like for you to go ahead and begin detaching from her body, releasing all of your energy from her body. I'd like for you to go ahead through the top of her head right here. And member of my team, Archangel Michael, is right there waiting for you. Tell me when you see him. I see him. Mm -hmm. Does he say anything to you? Welcome home. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to go ahead and take your energy with him. Mm -hmm. Follow that light within. And tell me when you get there. Who's mm -hmm. there to greet you? No. Um... I see his son. Mm -hmm. He died when he was real little. Mm -hmm. What was his name? Um, Jeremy. Mm -hmm. Give him a big hug. Mm -hmm. May the light of the universe always accompany you, Rufus. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Now I'd like for you to detach completely from Rufus, sending him on his way, and I'd like for you to continue doing a scan of your body. <laughs> scan your body from head to toe. And see if you have any other shadows, any movements, anything that shouldn't belong there. Use that into my heart. Very good. So let's take a look at that heart and tell me what that heart looks like. Looks shriveled. Mm -hmm. Blackish green. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Let's find out why mm -hmm. it's so shriveled. Is it something that Sandy did? Or is it something that is an outside influence to Sandy? Take a look at that. What's mm -hmm. causing that? Well... No, Sandy's been doing it. Mm -hmm. Been shutting herself off. Mm -hmm. um, so let's... Let's do some exploration now. I'd like for you now to begin going through back in time to the origin of when Sandy began, began shriveling her heart, darkening it. I'm going to count from five back to one to the memory of when this began. Mm -hmm. Taking a deep breath in. Five. Follow the origin of this shriveled heart. Four, back in time and space. Mm. Three, even farther now, finding the origin of that heart. <coughs> Two, and one. Be there now. Where are you? I'm in a forest. Mm -hmm. um, I'm 
being chased. Um, How old are you there? That's not the origins because I can see my heart is already shriveled. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Okay, that's not the origin. Mm -hmm. How old are you there being chased? Um, 32. Mm -hmm. And take a look at your body. Are you male or female? Female. Mm -hmm. What do you look like? Mm. Hmm. Long hair, but it's is in black, but there's a lot of gray in it. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm hunched over. I remind myself of um, the witch in Snow White that mm -hmm. makes a poisoned apple. Mm -hmm. So the wart and the chin and yuck. Mm -hmm. So let's find out who it is that's chasing you. Villagers. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling? Check in with your emotions. I understand that they're scared of me. I have a lot of powerful healing, and they call it magic. Mm -hmm. But when they look at me, they can't believe that it's good healing. They think this is, is not right that someone who looks like me, ah, oh, they're judging. Mm -hmm. uh, um, so that's who's chasing me. To, they want to kill me. Mm -hmm. They're scared of me. Hmm. Tell me more. Get the whole story. See the whole picture. Why? Well, I, I helped one of the villagers' little ones. Um, Bring her back from the dead. Mm -hmm. She was, the family had decided that she was dying and that she was going to die. Or well, she wasn't dead. Oh, and I heard about it and I knew she still had life and I took it upon myself to go in and heal her. Mm -hmm. And the family wasn't ready for that and to them it was just voodoo whoa something even though it was positive to them they were they were very angry this they were very very lots of emotions but bottom line is they said we got to get rid of this lady mm -hmm. <coughs> so I'd like for you to see yourself at the end of that mm -hmm. life and tell me how that ended. Okay, I escaped and I had several, I guess you'd call them caves, enclaves, mm -hmm. up in, in the sides of hills. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I quit being around people, mm -hmm. huh, interesting. being around people and ate roots and berries and, and just uh, died of a very peaceful but sad um, it was it was sad that I couldn't no, it wasn't sad that I couldn't help people because they, they weren't ready for it so it was just time to live out my existence and to leave mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so I'd like for you to see what vows you made after that lifetime what vows did you make mm -hmm. oh Well, I mean to fall, I'm going to keep healing come hell or high water. Mm -hmm. And guess what I found? <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. But I would try and, and I'd really try to work with people instead of just, uh, I don't know how to explain it. Mm -hmm. um, be more user friendly. <laughs> mm -hmm. So let's find out how we can change that. I'd like for you to now go to the moment before you died in that lifetime. And let's change the path. Change that vow mm -hmm. to what it affects 
all of the other lifetimes connected to it. Let's change that vow to something that would be beneficial both to yourself and to others. Whoa. Um. Uh, to listen better and tune in so that I can recognize huh, this is tough um, to recognize when they want help mm -hmm. and and if I listen closely I, I do that um, and then uh, actually to quit listening to this blue green energy so much entity mm -hmm. entity mm -hmm. um, yeah so that that'll allow me to step back easier it'll mm -hmm. it'll ground me so I, I don't just keep spilling things that are downloading into my brain Okay, very yeah, very good. So yeah. now let's disconnect from that life <coughs> and let's connect with that blue, that greenish, greenish blue energy being. Let's connect with that one now and let's see who that is. Hmm. It's another density, it's um. Mm -hmm. A higher density, I want to say seventh, mm -hmm. and it's it's it is it's from a series a planetary system. Andromeda comes to mind, but I don't. Mm -hmm. I'll just say that's what it is. Mm -hmm. um, and the group that this being is entity is with that's their purpose is is to connect with other well actually or well, in this case um no it was it was, it was in between lives and in um i asked for help and healing in in this entity entity agreed to come with me to be of service wonderful huh very good. So let's take a look at the heart and see what that heart looks like. Oh. What does the heart look like? Yeah, it's, 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 um, it's, it's got a few little weirdnesses on the surface, but the inside is good, it's pink and it's mm -hmm. big and it's, it's pumping wild. Yeah, there it's good. Yeah. Feeling good in there. Wonderful. Huh. Wonderful. <coughs> so let's breathe some love into that heart. I'm going to put my hand over that heart and I want you to go ahead and feel that love as it's pumped in from the universe. Mm -hmm. Feeling the glow as that life flows through that heart, pumping into every cell of this mm. body. And I'm going to tap your forehead and just seal that love in. And now let's take mm. a look at the body once again, and let's do a scan of that body. Is there anything that's out of sorts? Vocal cords. Mm -hmm. <coughs> to find out what's going on in the vocal cords, take a look and mm -hmm. see what's associated with those vocal cords. Mm -hmm. There's a little something there that, um, well, actually, it's, it, I don't know what it is, um, that's saying no you you won't speak your truth and you won't do this and you you don't have any more you don't have any more to say and and because what you do say doesn't turn out good so so I'm, I'm gonna 
make your voice uncomfortable so that you you're reminded you're reminded not not to speak. Who are you, please? Are you male or female? Male. What's your name? Jeffrey. Jeffrey, how old are you? Eight. Mm-hmm. What year is it for you, Jeffrey? Nineteen forty-two. Mm-hmm. How did you die, Jeffrey? I died. Um. And just, I lived a very long, normal life, but I lost my soul when I was I died when I was like um, 89. Mm -hmm. <coughs> but what happened to this little soul? Well, it was in... Did it split off? Ah, uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, because I couldn't... That, I, I gave away the location of some Jewish people and they were taken away. Mm -hmm. How old are you but when you gave away that location? Seven. Mm -hmm. And what happened to those Jewish people? Well, I presume they were killed. Mm -hmm. I mean, we never saw them again. Everybody was, it was just a line of people being walked down through the streets. Mm -hmm. So, Jeffrey, why did you stop talking? Because I didn't want to hurt anybody anymore. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jeffrey, I want you now to connect with those people that you gave away. As a soul, you can connect with their souls. I want you to find those souls and tell me if you knew each other. Oh my, they're the same mom and two children. The mom that I had the hands taken off and the children who they're the same ones. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Jeez, I did it again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so, Jeffrey, you're punishing yourself once again. Mm. Is it me? Oh, bad. You're not bad, Jeffrey. You were just learning a lesson. Just when, Jeffrey, Lowe, you were learning how to walk as a little toddler. Sometimes the toddler falls down, but we get back up again, don't we? And you fall again. Your parents never tell you to stop walking, do they? They never tell you that you're a bad boy because you fell down. So sometimes in life we have to go through the same thing over and over again. Make the same mistakes so that we learn how to balance our life. We learn how to say the things that don't hurt other people. In this lifetime, Jeffrey, this is what you did. You didn't know any better. You were just a little boy. Can you forgive yourself, Jeffrey, for not knowing any better? Yes. All right, I'm going to put my hand over your chest, Jeffrey, and I want you to give me all of that remorse that you feel, all of that pain that you've been holding not understanding that this was just another life lesson. It was just you falling down again and learning how to balance. Give it all to me. There's no need for this little boy to continue suffering. And tell me when I have it all. Yes. All right, I'm going to take that to the universe and send it for healing. So now that you understand, Jeffrey, that you left that body when you were so little, did another soul come in to continue that life of that old man? 
It's like I just split in two. Mm -hmm. No, I don't you think anybody came in. You just split in two, and this part was always remorseful. So now, mm -hmm. are we ready now to finally find your true self? Are you ready for this? Ooh. Mm. Jeffrey, inside of you, there's something hidden that you haven't seen. Mm. It's a little spark of light. Find that light. And tell me when you find it. I'm still feeling like I don't deserve to find it. Take a look at it. Take a look at it. I like it. Mm -hmm. Make I it even like bigger. It. Make it even bigger. Once you do, you will feel that love. Oh, yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. I love this. Mm-hmm. Oh, feel good? Yes. Mm-hmm. Good to feel love. And I'm going to ask now for my angels of the white light to come and surround you. Oh. Feel their love and tell me what they tell you. What do they say to you? Come home and you'll learn that you are love. Mm -hmm. That that is your everyone says that's your essence. That you are love. very good. So, Jeffrey, you are <coughs> now to detach from her body. Go ahead and pull your yes. energy out. Pull it out of her body. Tell me where else you reside. Is it just in the vocal cords or uh, with the eyes too? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pull it from her eyes. Have you been not allowing her to read? I, I don't want her to see. Mm -hmm. I don't want to see what happens. Mm -hmm. The bad things happen. Yeah. So pull all that out. You're not responsible for her. Pull it all out. Okay. And now, I'm going to ask you to go through the top of her head right here. Archangel Michael is there to send you back home to reunite for the rest of your soul. Oh, I'm getting back with my other part. Mm -hmm. Cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very good. May the light of the universe always, always accompany you. Thank you very much. So take a deep breath in. Allow all of that now to flow. And I'd like to ask Archangel Raphael the Healer to step forward. And I want him to go ahead and begin putting his beautiful green light mm -hmm. up through your feet, mm -hmm. through your body, filling your heart and your vocal cords all the way up to your head, filling it with a beautiful balsam of green light. Wow. And tell me how that feels. Wow. Amazing. Beautiful. And as the soul enjoys that beautiful sensation, I'd like for you now to find the source of the sadness. Find the source of that sadness. And see if it's anywhere in your body any longer. No. Mm -hmm. No. Very good. Oh, it's not there. Very good. So now that we don't have that sadness anymore, and we understand what the past lives were that were affecting her, let's find out now the reason for her to come into this incarnation. What does the soul need to be doing in this incarnation? Learning to forgive mm -hmm. myself. And today? No matter, okay, to realize I came in to make mistakes and then learn to forgive myself for it. Mm -hmm. And how's she doing? Well, she's beating herself up really well. Mm -hmm. um, she's going at it big time. Mm -hmm. um, what part of her is beating her up? Take a look. Mm. 
Is this a part of her that needs a little talking to today? Well, she came in with this purpose, though, so... Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I guess the ego. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to count from one to three. Let's speak with the ego today. One, two, and three. Feel the joy oh. inside. It hurts so good, as they say. Oh, mm -hmm. Wow. Very good. Ah. Very good. <coughs> we now speak with the ego. Ego, how do you feel now that you've done such a good job of growing up this little girl, of letting her out, letting her play, <sighs> experience the joy? I didn't realize I was holding myself back. Mm -hmm. I was using so much air. I didn't even know I was do Wow. I feel... Ah. Yeah, I mean, this... I feel good. I, I don't know how to explain it. Lighter. The, the big burden's been lifted. I, yeah. Very good. Yeah. So now let's take a deep breath in. And let me speak with the higher self once again. And from your point of view, take a look at this and tell me. How does Sandy look? Going ahead in time now with that little girl. She'll have a whole different... Her interaction with people will be like she was reborn and or she was she's just yeah wow mm. we totally different very good yeah very good <coughs> now she tells me that um she is afraid of heights mm. and we want to take a look and see what is possible you go to the bathroom absolutely i'm going to go ahead and touch your shoulders when i do you can open your eyes i'll remove the microphone when you come back you'll go even deeper awesome. Wonderful. Allowing you to connect with that moment in time and space that created the energy, the fear of the heights. Allow the pictures to come. Um, okay, I just, yeah, okay. Um, I'm in an airplane and I fall out of the airplane. Mm -hmm. Huh. Take a yeah. look at this airplane. Uh, what's happening? Um, yeah, I was, I was going up, it was uh, in the early days, so it was, it was where they didn't have doors on the side. Mm-hmm. Um, and, oh, I think it, um, okay, let's see, um, and I was just looking out at the ground as we were taking off, mm -hmm. and I just fell right out. Um, wasn't really all that high up. Well, no, hundred some feet. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, um, I, I was pretty terrified, and then I don't remember hitting the ground. I, I think I blacked out, but I remember when I first fell out, it was like. So let's find out what it is that you're actually afraid of. As we look at this scene, is there any fear? Fear of losing my balance. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, of, of, of not being aware of my body in space. Mm -hmm. uh, that, yeah. Uh, Keep going. Um, 
I really try and in this life I really try to try and stay in tune with shoulders over hips and hips over you know proper body alignment so that I don't lose my balance because mm -hmm. it's um, in fact even now if I get off tilt kilter a little bit I'll just this is just started happening the last few years I will just fall over mm -hmm. um, it's, it's just the balance I can't we correct and I just go right over mm -hmm. um, so it is ah it's a loss of control again oh that's control thing. Mm -hmm. um, so is it actually a fear of heights or is it a fear of control of a losing control fear of losing control mm-hmm yep boy Yep. So do we need to have that fear in longer? No, the ego was already has already decided to yeah let's let's play and have some fun. All right, so, so I'd like quick. for you to see yourself in something that would terrify you. What would terrify you that would be high? Uh, climbing, uh, going. To the Red Canyon, and I want to climb up mm -hmm. to the top of the All right. mountains. All right. So I'd like for you to see yourself in that moment now. Now that understanding that control is something that the ego was doing, mm -hmm. allow yourself now to be guided with that inner guidance, that inner voice, your higher self. As you begin to climb, what does the higher self tell you as you climb? You always want to be cautious and you know, but Sandy, you know the precautions to take and uh, we're here to enjoy this view that you come all the way out here to see it and, and you can and and we're going to get a kick out of this mm -hmm. and, and there, mm -hmm. there's, yeah, we'll let ego just mumble in the background. <laughs> Very good to see yourself climbing. I want you to see that view from the top. Oh. Wow. Mm hmm Ah, it's gorgeous. Mm hmm And now I'd like for you to envision all around you, all of those guides and angels mm -hmm. that always have your back. See the entourage that has come with you today to enjoy this beautiful view and all of the views that you see from high up. Very good. Allow yourself to ingrain into your mind, body, and soul this feeling of accomplishment, knowing that your higher self always gives you the reason always gives you the backing very good so let's take a look at any of these others <coughs> excuse me um yeah the one um I don't, I see her in this life and I know I know her from the past. Mm -hmm. um, hmm. How we talk? Uh, we're on a big boat, mm -hmm. a small ship. Mm -hmm. um, and she was a nurse on the ship and I was, oh, I was um, in the military and she was taking care of me. Um, and... What happened? Um,
She was told to let me die. Mm -hmm. That, you know, there was just so many, and then she, um, and, and she listened to that. Um, just as in this job, she listened to what other people were telling her about me, and 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 she just she has a really big heart, and she just um, can you forgive this soul? Yes. Oh, yeah. Now you understand that you've been holding this from that lifetime, living and reliving the same scene, mm. so that you can forgive. Are you ready to forgive her? Yes, yes. For taking orders. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put my hand over your chest. I want you to pull out all of that resentment that you've been carrying from lifetime <coughs> to lifetime. Pull it all out. Give it to me. Don't leave anything in there, understanding that she was just being told what to do. And that in this lifetime, you need to realize that too. And let's take all that out and send it to the universe for healing. And now, let's put that love in that heart again, that self-love, knowing that no matter what, you always make choices of your own life. You're in control of your life, and that whether someone tells you to do something or not, the way that you perceive it is your choice. Let's seal that in. Very good. So now, can we understand that the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results? Can we know? Got go? that one nailed down. It's just. Mm -hmm. Can we now understand <coughs> that doing the same thing over and over again in each lifetime is just for us to learn, like when a child learns how to walk, that we don't need to carry this resentment forward, that we oh. need to forgive in our hearts, that that is the purpose of us being here. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. So how can that help Sandy now moving forward, looking for a way to help other people? <coughs> Does she need to take anything personally now, when people think she's a know-it-all? She stands in her power and her confidence without sending out energy of arrogance. Yes, 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 that's yes, mm -hmm. yes. There's a difference, isn't there? Yes, mm -hmm. yeah, wow. So now that we understand that, what is the reason she was drawn to working in hospice? Why that? Because it, medicine, nursing was clinical, mm -hmm. and 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 it's, she started to remember that you heal from the outside in, mm -hmm. and that hospice wasn't an avenue of incarnate people to take mm -hmm. to connect with each other family members friends and themselves to their their to their higher selves for that energy for that uh, mm -hmm. will she be able to start working with hospice once again mm. or is there another avenue for her to enjoy this little girl joy inside of her uh -huh. I don't see a hospice. Mm -hmm. What do you see now? Um, hmm. 
will be in the vein of piercing where uh, huh. I think some exploration will be needed on this because I'm not sure if there's a job description like this out there but it's it's um, yeah I think basically independent um, sort of person that uh, and, I, and I see going to people I don't see people in my home mm -hmm. my massage table I see um, kind of a combination of, of a pastor of all things mm -hmm. a pastor mm -hmm. a pastor and um, a nurse you can talk the lingo they know, know and mm -hmm. um, to heal spirits is, is what I'm seeing is to hear heal the mm -hmm. the cries of their spirits now Fred told us that she sees spirits has she been allowing these spirits to use her body Fred said that mm -hmm. little Fred said that she sees <coughs> spirits oh wow mm -hmm. um Because she wants to know about all the smoking and drinking. Yeah, she's pretty much been an open book. Mm -hmm. Yep, it's just she hasn't learned the boundaries between energy work and other spirits and and it, what entity what yeah and those mm -hmm. other things yeah. So let's take a look and see what's mm. causing her to drink and smoke. Because these spirits are still pretty dense on this earth, and they just uh, um, are there any attached to her now that are giving her this addiction? I see a form of one. Mm -hmm. And it's doing both, but it's real n nebulous. It's like, mm -hmm. yeah. I'm attached when I want to be attached, and I'm not when I don't, so it comes and goes. Mm -hmm. How huh. can we assist this soul today? Is this soul ready to be assisted? Sure, it doesn't want to be, but I think, it, I think it'll be okay. All right. Yeah. Would you? Yeah. Would you like me to speak with this entity? Yes, please. Very yes, good. Please. So I'm going to bring this energy in. And let's speak with this energy today. Good afternoon. Are you male? Yeah. Um, female. Female. What is your name, please? Dolores. Dolores. How old are you, Dolores? 39. Mm -hmm. Dolores. What year is it for you? 1926. 1926. <coughs> what happened to you? Hmm. I believe I was pro a prostitute out in the street and somebody just came and killed me with a knife mm -hmm. got mad at me. So Dolores, what happened after your body died? Where did your spirit go? went back inside the bar continued mm -hmm. to party mm -hmm. so how long were you there before you found Sandy hmm. oh she was 20 mm -hmm. And she was at a piano bar with some friends and having a good time and having a drink. Um, and at the time, everybody could smoke inside. And 
uh, somebody said, you should try, or they didn't ask, they, I, I, I asked to have a cigarette mm -hmm. through Sandy, and it was just, hey, I can finally have a drink and smoke again, so I just, I just came on in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. And you've been hanging with Sandy all this time? Well, when she gets really depressed and stuff, she shuts everything out. Mm -hmm. Everything, including us, she's just, um, but the addiction is enough that she keeps going to have a cigarette. Mm -hmm. But then when she lightens up a little bit and we start having any kind of good time, then she likes to have a few beers and, and smoke. So she opens herself up on purpose to allow you in. Does she do that? Does she invite you in? Hmm. Take a look. Yes, she does. Mm -hmm. Because she has so she has so little enjoyment in life that is so she enjoys my energy because mm -hmm. I'm I'm fun. All right. So, yeah. Dolores, would you be willing now to detach yourself and finally go back home to where you be loved? Uh. Yeah, because I can always come back and I can reincarnate. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. All right. So the Lord, take a look inside <coughs> of yourself. You should have found this light when you died. There's a light within you. Mm -hmm. This is the yeah, Creator's light. There. This is the God spark. Make it bigger. Allow this light to engulf you completely and feel mm -hmm. the feeling of love. Feel the source. Mm -hmm. Feel it loving you. How does that feel, Dolores? Not feeling it a lot. Mm -hmm. Make it bigger then. Um, so I'm going to ask the angels mm -hmm. of the white light to come and spread their energy around you. That would be nice, because... To remind you of what it feels like. Yeah. Thank you. That's... Ah. Uh, oh. Yeah, it's nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now I'd like for you now to follow that light within. I'm going to ask Archangel Michael to come and escort you right back home. Hmm. Tell me when you get there. There. Who's there? Oh, lots of friends. Mm -hmm. Lots and lots of friends. That's yep. right. Well, may the light of the universe always accompany you. Thank you very much, Dolores. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And now, I'd like Archangel Raphael to step <coughs> forward, and let's go through that. Her lungs, all of the lungs and passageways, and let's go ahead and begin sending that beautiful light into those lungs. Tell me what those lungs look like. Not too bad, considering what I know there should look like, because mm -hmm. I used to teach it. Not not too bad. Um, mm -hmm. There's one section in, in the upper left lobe, but it's more in her throat. It's it's um, her throat is uh, I'll say precancerous. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's, uh, it's on the verge. Yeah. All right. So what's missing in that throat? To make it finally heal. Are we ready? Good for energy. For, oh, yeah, flow ready? and good energy. Yeah. Good. So let's flow that energy. Allow that green light to flow. And I want to remind Sandy that she's the goddess of this temple. That whatever she feeds <sighs> and breathes into her subject. All of her subjects, every cell in her body, every microbe, mm. this is how they react. So let's send them love, every cell in the throat, loving them, sending that love into the lungs. And would you like to ask mm. forgiveness of these lung cells for treating them the way you've treated them? I, I ask your forgiveness. I 
it's so weird how you can love something so much and respect it and and then turn your back mm -hmm. so please yes I ask you very good yes, I do. so send it love send this area love And now, see what has happened to this lung and the throat with this love glowing through these organs. Throat is looking really good. There's, there's a little spot. Mm -hmm. that. So I'd like for you now to zap it with that beautiful, brilliant oh. white light. And while you're bringing in it, I'd like for you to ground yourself with that golden light once again, bringing that golden light up from the earth into your heart, spreading that golden light. Oh, it worked. Very cool. good. It's Very good. good. Love the gold. And now that she is brightly shining in gold, let's take a look at the connection between her and bare skin disorder. What's going on there? When he first got to know her, he, he tried to... They are really close. They've been together many lifetimes. And mm -hmm. They... He... He thought that he could by loving her so much, he could help with her pain. Mm -hmm. And ooh, and when it didn't help, um, he became sick. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's, it's just he he wasn't able to handle um, wasn't it wasn't the negative energy. It was. He wasn't able to handle disappointing, how disappointed he felt that he couldn't help her more. Mm -hmm. So let's connect with Bear now. I'm going to count from one to three. Allow Sandy to connect with Bear. One, two, and three. Hello, Bear. Bear, it seems to me you've been wanting to help Sandy, but she couldn't help her. How did that make you feel? I became torn. I wanted to love her more, uh -huh. but then it became real painful when it hurt mm. my heart when I couldn't help her. Um, and my immune system just uh, malfunctioned. So now, Bear, take a look at her soul. Take a look at how she's looking. Has she changed in the last few hours? Connect with her. She has. Mm -hmm. she, she has changed. Yes. So now that you see that she has changed, do you need any longer to shut down that immune system? Do you need to attack yourself for not being able to help her? No, she doesn't. She doesn't need the removal. When she looked at my skin, it reminded her. Mm -hmm. And no, I don't need that anymore. No. So She's I'd like. Okay. I'd like for you to connect with her energy and begin to feel that energy of love between both of you. And as you're with her now, you'll be able to feel that energy that healthy energy, that happy energy, allowing you to heal yourself. Thank you very much. Do you have anything to say to Sandy? I will always be with you. Always. Very good. Always. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Good. And always with a loving heart. Mm-hmm. 
Thank you very much. <coughs> now, it seems to me that she spends a lot of time with plants. Does this have anything to do with any incarnations? She was a fairy spirit mm -hmm. back in when there were unicorns mm -hmm. and um, in the forest with the moss growing on the trees and the little streams and mm -hmm. and uh, it was not a, a fairy way, a fairy type spirit and uh, and the smells and, and it was a it was a world that uh, she really misses, mm -hmm. and it it's, reminds her of, of the good things. of. Is she connecting with any of these elementals and spirits? No, she ignores us. Mm -hmm. yep. yep. So what would you like to tell her? now that she understands that she was one of these fairies. How can she better improve your relationship? Well, she's noticing all the little ants and bugs and butterflies, but she doesn't talk to them. Mm -hmm. And if she was start communicating with them, we can then help make our present. It'll remind her. Very good. Very good. Yeah, very so. good. Thank you so much. Yeah. And I'm going to go ahead and use my selenite sword, and we're going to cut any cords that need to be cut today from this body. Anything that is connecting her from any past life, from any others that are impeding her progress through her life. Mm. I feel as those cords are being connected through her whole body, not leaving any cords attached to any people places or things that are impeding her progress. Very good. So now that we understand, is there anything else that you would like to tell Sandy today? I'd like her to remember that she did choose this life to learn these lessons, and it was through pain. Um, and that if there's such a thing, she's done too good a job of it. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and uh, it's like when you want to lose weight, you learn when to push away from the table. Mm -hmm. And just because uh, she's getting older. Mm -hmm. Sandy, you need you need to know. Find how fun it is to live that you haven't really been doing. Um, ooh, to maybe entertain the idea that you can learn these lessons even more effectively through humor and laughter. Very good. Yeah. And what did you bring her here today? What did you want to tell her? Um, there's a... Um, that I am not a lost soul. Mm -hmm. That... Uh, that outside of you is outside of you and is, is feeling your heart and your love inside that will make the lessons of this life um, learned and remembered and, 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 and change course a little bit. Yeah. Very good. So, but I, I, uh, came here to connect with my higher self to hear that. Very good. Thank you very much. Is there any other information or are we complete today? We're complete. Very good. Thank you very much. Over. Welcome back. Yeah.
well. Thank you. How do you feel? You look good. I'm so happy I could cry. Okay, <laughs> you can cry happy tears. You did good relief. Job. I mean, just huge relief. Just. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, just one? having a chance to talk through things. Oh, you did great. You did a great job. Well, I'm going to fly here. You did a great job, and uh, you could see that inner child of yours was kind of locked up. You know? That's what That's it was. interesting. Isn't it, eh? Huh? That the ego locked it away. Yeah. Her way. And now? Feel good? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You did great. How long do you think I can see it. Her, I'm seeing through her eyes. Mm -hmm. That's the idea. I'm seeing through her eyes. <gasps> you did great. That's cool. So how long do you think the session was? How do you feel? Hour and a half. Mm -hmm. We're in two hours and ten minutes right now. Really? Mm -hmm. Really? <laughs> yeah, you really stuck over. with me. Thank oh, yeah. You. Yes. You did great. So let me uh, switch wow. those up. Let me get, let me have the sun shun guide so I can give you the... I think they're part of me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and uh, do you want to share this? Or you want to keep it private? I know we have quite a bit of stuff. Um, the parts that you think... Um, yeah, we're going to take we can out register. Yeah, we're going to take out some personal parts. Yeah, yeah, yeah but the, yeah, this. Um, we did a lot of research there. Yeah, um, the process you go through because then people like I learned the process of starting to go through it. Mm -hmm. um, of course, finding out the revelations is always just amazing. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I I would like to leave it to your discretion yeah. what you and Grace would like yeah. to. Yeah, I, <laughs> this this doesn't get shared with anybody except me. So. Oh, Grace doesn't help <laughs> no, you. No, oh, no, you guys no, do this no. yourself. I do not. I do not share oh. my recordings with anybody. Oh. So they are private, and whatever happens okay. here happens here, and okay. whatever you yeah. allow. Yeah, I feel like. Um, <laughs> how do you describe it? I don't know. Describe it for everybody. Yeah. How's it feel? Ah. <laughs> uh, I'm very spiritual. I'm not necessarily Christian, but I feel like I've been reborn. <laughs> there's a, there's newness. There's newness. Yes. There's new. I, Have I you been happy like this in a long time? No, no, no I haven't. Thank you. <laughs> well, this whole session is about sadness. Okay, how yes. sad she's been feeling, uh, and now lifetime. Lifetime of, ha of sadness, and now you feel happy. Now we understand yeah. why. Yeah. But you, know, you were chopping off people's hands for God's sakes. So you were carrying that load, yeah, right? Yeah, I was, I was doing worse than that. Mm -hmm. That's just, yeah. I mean, there were so many things I could have said, but that was the one that... Uh, yeah. Now, as you were going through this, and this is a question that people have while they watch this, is when you're saying things, are you seeing other things going on at the same time? Many, many, many things. Mm -hmm. And I think one time I did say, well, I don't think that's when my heart first started to shrivel, mm -hmm. but you stuck on that one. Mm -hmm. Because you got to, you got because we're eternal, yes. you know, it doesn't yes. start anywhere, it doesn't end right. anywhere, so you right. have to draw a line, but yeah, I saw many things all at the same time, and it's when I would hear a word, mm -hmm. um, and and then go with your first thought, yes. go with your first thought, and sure. then that would help dissipate, in fact, didn't help, the other one then went away. And, and I could focus. Yeah, yeah, I didn't thought of that. It's amazing. So this is what happens in these sessions. And a lot of people, when you watch the sessions, you're not getting it, okay? Because you're not in in the mind. You're, you're seeing a lot of things going on within your own session, but you're not being able to explain it. So I don't try to make sense out of it myself because it's your experience. It's not mine. So whether I get it or not doesn't doesn't matter to me as long as you're getting it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and as you watch this recording over and over again, or listen to it, as as the one who went through it, you will get more out of it 
because you'll be able to see it over and over again and make and connect more dots. Yes. You see what I mean? Yes. But of course, the viewer will only see whatever you you explain. Right. You can connect your own dots, but that's not necessarily the same dots mm -hmm. that the the actual participant is connecting. Yeah. If I could say, um, when you go into a grocery store and you you look you're looking for cereal and you, you're looking for the name you're looking for mm -hmm. and you see all of them at first and then you finally see the right colors and finally the name and now you know what you that's what the session was like mm -hmm. is that yeah I could have talked could <laughs> hours and hours and hours of course um, a lifetime yes and so and that of course you can't experience because you're not in the grocery store with me but you mm -hmm. do hear you do see me carrying out the one box of gro of right cereal. exactly exactly yeah. so this was a really good session for you you got what you needed yeah yeah <laughs> I think I may need to be back because it. So, how far did you come from? I came from Lawrence, Kansas. Kansas, we're in Miami today, so that's quite a bit. Yes. And so you're going back to Kansas, and uh, you'll be able to help other people. And we'll see what, yeah, what. What this nursing type of energy? Is, yeah, yeah, this is going to be very interesting yes. because it is. I do. It is my calling. Yeah, you do energy in this field. You do energy work. You do nursing. You, you've got a lot. I was of a teacher. Teacher. So there's a lot of stuff here that's gonna that was burst open today, and you'll be able to do it. Yeah. Good. You recommend this to other people? Yes. Yes. So tell them how to prepare for this. How? Oh, how do before you we do that, one little thing yeah. is, um, I was trying to find Alba when she came closer to Kansas, Des Moines, St. Louis. Um, and they filled out the, and so I said, okay, I know I would get help, no expectations, I just know whatever happened would be helpful. Mm -hmm. um, and sure enough, in the next couple of weeks, get the flash in Miami, I'm going Miami, and of course you don't have time to think about it, so I just clicked yes. And so you got it. Wherever the world takes you. That's right. Yes. So if you get that newsletter, yeah. sign up. So this is how you get to get a session with me. We don't do email or text or phone calls. You need to sign up to my newsletter. Go to my website, albawyman.com. On the out of town page, click on the uh, subscribe. I need to know where you live, okay? Because that's how we send out our newsletters. I need to know where where I'm going to and if there's any cancellations, we send out newsletters targeting your area so that you can get maybe a second chance. So fill it out. About once a month I send out that newsletter. Like she said, click on it fast. They go within minutes. It was it was the whole session for the month here in Miami. 15 seconds because I said July 3rd no I don't want to go over the 4th <laughs> right and it was a whole month was open and I went back to try and change it all were filled and luckily it saved the one I did click there you go I mean 15 seconds that fast. That fast. so you do have to be that fast yeah. so I hope I get to meet you sometime soon thank you for watching and until the next time bye Ooh. Oh, <laughs>